Hello guys, this is Right Way Gaming, and I don't know what's made me do this, but recently my internet's been down, so I've had a lot of time just playing single player games, really, is the only way to put it. So, I thought, you know what, well I've got the time, I'm going to try and get it started as just an arc season I can do on YouTube, because as much as YouTube kind of let me down with the, the whole partnership program stuff and all that lot, it just made me feel like there weren't any point putting time into it because uh, there were no support from us, was the best way to phrase it. Um, but I thought, you know what, in my spare time when I'm not streaming Destiny and doing real life things, I'll, uh, I can play Ark and get videos out on that and just kind of create a little playthrough where um, where I'm just having general banter and other things because it's a great game, you can play it on your own, you can play with other people um, difficulties all down to how you want to play um, I'm going to be playing on my own, obviously it's single player I do have the single player settings unticked though so it will be like playing a multiplayer server um, but I've just got a few of the rates changed so for example XP's uh, well XP's actually the official rates, it's, it's one. Uh, but what isn't is taming rates because I don't have that much free time, so I can't be spending hours doing tames. So I've put the taming rate at six, so that the lower level dinos will be easy to tame. But as we start taming the 150 rexes and the 150 quets and stuff like that, it's still going to take a few hours even at that rate. So I think that's more than realistic because then that way I can set aside time at weekends or whatever to actually tame those when we get to it. Um, Harvest rates again, just because I don't have time, I think I've put the average rate at 10. Now it might seem extreme, but believe me, when we get into that later game, you'll see that that sort of rate is necessary when you've only got a few hours in a day to play this game. That's what a lot of people don't realise, this game takes up your time, a lot of it. So, like I said, I've put the settings so that we can play through it, and create a good playthrough and create a good base, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, so we're going to call my character uh, right way. I was thinking of calling him Big W, but I thought that just sounds weird and it doesn't sound right. Um, I always keep him normal, like this. Like, I know people always have weird builds and stuff like that, but it just creeps me out, so I'm not doing it. I'm going to be normal. And as boring as normal is, this game's going to be fun. So, create a new survivor. Let's just jump into it, see what happens, and we'll go from there. And as you can see, that glorious beach is there. Between, I don't know where we are right now. Oh yeah, I do. We're near Stonehenge. Stonehenge, I should say. Ah, there we go. That's great. Alright, so let's just get into it. So as you can see, uh, harvesting the mount is basically, it looks like it's times six. That's a bit weird. So we go, okay, don't take long to get your first level up. Uh, and now I'm just going to put it into weight. Uh, we're going to need a stone hatchet and a campfire to make food. So we'll do that. Got all these gimpy, weird thing outfits, so you know. Uh, we need to make a stone pickaxe, hatchet, torch, and campfire. By putting these down there like that guys, it basically allows you to know when you've got the mats to craft it, like as soon as I collected enough materials, uh, the pickaxe popped up instantly, which now allows me to put this in here, um, right, that means now we need a little bit of flint, there we go, a little bit of flint. Go. That means that we can now build a pickaxe, a torch, and a campfire. Alright, so we've got our basis of the stuff we need to start out with to, um, to survive. Campfire can stay in there. Um, now, in terms of a base, I always like building it near plenty of trees because that's what you're going to need to build base obviously 
I've learned a lot of things on all about this game when it gets to end game on how you can make your life so much easier, especially in terms of taking high level dinosaurs. It's a level 60 pronto. We need to make a spy glass at some point, which we will be able to. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what guys, just so we can get um, a big boost in levels, I know for a fact that there's something around here. Just having a look at them and trying to find high level dodos. I don't know what it is, but I like 10 dodos. It's not here. Not here. That one bit. I know it's around here somewhere. Alright, well. Let's just collect some cash all the time. Alright, so again. Again, we're gonna blow up some wood. Um, okay, that's not what I was expecting. I've got ten, so we're gonna save that for now. Uh, between the sound and stuff, might be a bit dodgy on this first one because I'm gonna have to tweak it based on how it turns out when I render it. Um, so if it does seem a little bit loud on the game sound, or I seem too quiet, or whatever those things, you know, they're just slight hiccups when you're producing videos. Unfortunately. Um, what the hell is this? Ah, right, rare, rare. I know where we are. Right. Go a few more thatch. Right, it seems like we can carry a bit more. That's good. Oh, by the way, we can get rid of these now. The reason I've put the XP multiplier at 1 as well is because if you put it too high, what I've found is that you will basically struggle with the rate at which you need to advance like you'll you get everything way too soon and it'll just really screw you over basically uh, i want to get my weight to about 200 right so there we go we've got enough points now to start building our first bear So I'm not going to bother with anything like that just yet because we can do that when we've got material, we can gather materials at a fair rate. Same with the spyglass, can't get crystals yet so there's no point by getting one of them. Let's just grab some more thatch. So as you can see the, the rates that I'm gathering stuff at is quite high but 300 thatch is not much you're gonna burn through that quite quickly um, plus that house probably isn't gonna last long I mean, what level are we at level eight and we get wooden structures at level 11 so to be honest we could probably just push straight for wood um, which I weren't expecting to be able to do if I'm honest um, Oh, there's always one, always one of them. Oh, they irritate the hell out of me. I don't know what it is, right? South Zone 2 is meant to be like one of the best places to spawn when you're starting out. But it's safe, there's Brontos, there's trees, there's Rexes within local areas. But at a safe enough distance. But there's always a Sarko that's there as soon as you start out. Just to annoy you. And just to make it hard for you. I can guarantee you that at some point that psycho will come after me and it will try to kill me. So I'm hoping that I'll be far enough along to make um, a bow and arrow. And that'll mean that we can kill it. Because I'm good like that with a bow and arrow. Are you kidding me? Ovi raptors? Three of them? Like, normally they're a pain to find as it is. Three of them in one room, one area. That is just ridiculous. There's a dial over there. Dial over there. Right, we've got to be careful because what I need to do is I need to get across this river. But there's always piranhas. Always brand us somewhere. See, there you go. There you go. I'm dead. Oh, get. 
<sighs> so, like I said, it's, it's a good, safe place to spawn, but this area is obviously that are lethal to you. You're going to just get slaughtered like I did there. Uh, and it spawned me in the exact same place as it did do last time. Exactly where I didn't want to be. We've got to find a way of getting across to that area because that's, that's where I want to be. That's where I want to build. There's the cycle. Run away. Right, so I'm not going to collect any more materials just yet because we've got to find a way to get across this river. Normally I build a bridge. I've done that a few times playing this game. Um, but it's not going to be that simple this time around. What level is this? Pterodon. Level 8. I hate it when you give me crappy levels. Can you see Prana? Can you see one? Because I can't. We are looking safe. Safe, safe, safe. Pelagrinus. There's a trike right, that's good. We've got a trike over here. And I'm still not seeing the Piranha. I know he's over there somewhere. Right, there we go. Right. Now, a Dilo is not the worst thing to deal with. So for now, we're just going to look for some rocks to scoop up. Right, there we go. We can build one of them now. Fiber, we are going to need plenty of. Need some flint, and we need some thatch. I'm not going to worry about that thatch we dropped just yet, because like I said, it's easy enough to gather up. Uh, so that's all we're going to do, we're just going to gather it back up. We'll get a few more levels. And then we'll be good to go. You have to be very patient with this game. You can't just rush through it. If you rush through it, you get bored. I've played on plenty of high paced servers and you just get bored really, really quick. So there we go, we've just got another level up, which is level 9. Yep, yeah, there it is, level 9. Plenty of fiber, plenty of thatch. Right, I'm gonna eat all these berries for now. No. That'll make us full on hunger. Majors can stay, narcos can stay, quintos can go, wood's gotta stay, that can go. We are gonna need plenty of wood to craft what we wanna craft. Now what we'll do is just to get a few level ups, we'll craft two of these. That shouldn't take up too much of our wood. Don't tell me it's giving me hardly any HP. It has indeed. Right, okay. Right, well in that case, we'll build just a small little base for now. Just to survive with. Two by uh, two by ones, not a bad little play, little build to start with. Um, I'm gonna put it here in the trees. The reason being, why are you not? Right, there we go. That was weird. I'm not too bothered about the placement of it just yet. So I'm gonna put the doorway there because then that way we don't have to step up or anything. And then we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five walls, two ceilings. And this is it, when you're playing a slow paced or a slower paced server, you've got to kinda just take your time, get yourself set up. Like for example next we are gonna need to build 
a bed. Sweat test finished building. Just so that we've got somewhere safe to stay and to respawn at. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go kill a dodo. <laughs> I know it sounds tight, but it's necessary. So level eight, perfect, perfect victim. Level eight won't take long to kill. Oh, man, perfect. Off our first kill, we've got just enough wood to kill to get a a bed made. Get a few more because we need some meat and right. So we just go in here now. We've got our little base, lovely and cozy. And we're gonna craft a campfire. We need to learn hide sleeping bag and can we learn a bed yet? Ah, oh, we don't. When do we have bed? When do we learn bed? Oh no, we have we have got a bed. Ignore me. I'm being stupid. Right, so we have sleeping bed. And then we are going to place the sleeping bed first. About there. And then we will place the campfire nicely in the corner over there. And what that allows us to do is put some meat in. And I tell you what, just because it's more efficient at this stage to have spark powder, um, why can't I build that? I need more stone. Spark powder is so much more efficient at the moment. Until we need to start like gathering charcoal, don't want to be wasting wood. So let's just build one of these for now, don't need any more than that. And we'll put this right here in the corner I think. And we've just got another level up which is good. So put that and that in there and we can craft ourselves 10 spark powder. Which should come out with 20 spark powder actually. Oh yeah. And then you stick that in there and you light it and we have got some meat on the way, boys and girls. Right. Level 9. Level 10, what can we learn? Oh, we can learn the bow. That will come in handy. do is we are going to need a storage box um, but I want to try and hold out for as long as I can um, especially since the next level that we get we are going to be pretty much right, I'll tell you what this is a good idea we don't need to put the thatch in there we'll put all the heavy weight stuff in there like that's so that put them in there them in there them in there anything else that's taking up our weight? Not really. And we're going to grab some more wood because that's what we're going to need to upgrade. Right, there we go. So it's always a good idea to use these mortar and pestles just as a temporary storage box. You can always organize yourself at a late date. two pieces of wood in there and then what we need to do next is oh, we need 15 wood so we can take that out we can craft ourselves a bow it's always good to have Got plenty of fiber plenty of thatch we need a load of flint so we can craft some arrows as you grab grabbing flint you will pick up metal as well you want to keep hold of that don't throw it away because metal is one of the rare resources and it is a pain to transport, it's a pain to gather, it's a pain just in general. So keep hold of that for as long as you can. 
There we go. We're making 128 arrows. That's more than enough. So guys, we've got a little base. We've got more pestle. We've got food on the way. Which right now we don't need. So we are good in that front. We've got a bed. We are safe. The psycho will attack us at some point. And that's what we've got the bow and arrows for. Now, what's going on out there? I can hear noises. Oh, it's just that trike. So, yeah, guys, um, for this first episode, I'm quite happy with it. We've got a lot done, considering it's not the rates that I'm normally used to. Um, as soon as we get this next level up in the next episode, we will go out and gather more wood. We will we'll upgrade the base, make it bigger. We'll get that psycho killed, that's for sure. We'll use the arrows and the bow that we've got to kill that, just so that we feel safe. Um, we may even go out and kill a few dialogues and if we can get enough materials we might start taming a dialogue or two as a guard dog just to protect the base with um, so them are the next steps that I've got planned um, like I said it's not rushed I mean if we go into engrams here uh, we've got a cooking pot which we don't need bowlers will come in useful but I don't need to craft them just yet um, so there we've got all the wood that we can learn seeing what it is that we can learn next that's useful probably should start getting a farm built considering all the farming materials are what coming up next so what we need to do is probably build an extension onto the main part of the house where we can put well saying that not even not even an extension we'll go over there after we've killed the sarko and build just a small like hut and you'll see why because it takes a while to understand why you need to do it but a farm is essential in arc because the materials that you will get from it will come so useful at the end game status that you'll be grateful that you've did it early on so that's what we'll be focusing on next um, and yeah I'm looking forward to it I think it's going to be fun so I hope you've enjoyed watching guys and I'll see you next time right away gaming over and out